Hi, this is Bart Paulson, and this video is for Learn Python the Hard Way by Zed Shaw. If you go to his website, learnpythonthehardway.org, and click on Read the Free HTML Online, it'll take you to the table of contents. In this video, we're going to look at exercise 15, which is reading files. And if you click on that, it'll take you to this page. Now, this one's a little different because we're actually going to have two separate files that go into this one. We're going to have the actual Python file, like we've had on all the others. That's, I'm sorry, that's a wrong one. Let's go ex15.py. That's how I got it labeled. But we're also going to have a text file. That's a .txt file, which has a little bit of text in it. So what Zed says is get out your text editor, and you can do this in Notepad++ or um, Text Wrangler. All you need to do is remember to save it as a txt file. So for instance, let me go over to Text Wrangler here. If you want to save a file, uh, you can type something in, and then you can press Save. Now remember, up to this point, we've been manually changing the, dot P, the, the, uh, the extension to .py. Just change it to .txt, and then it'll be a text file. I've already got one, so I don't need to do it. And here's the text that he wants us to enter. Now, I'm going to double click on this. I have another program called ByWord on my computer set up for text files, and so it's opening up in ByWord, and it looks a little different, but you can do it just as easily in Text Wrangler. Anyhow, uh, what Zed said is just type this stuff. Just these three lines, which I typed them in right here. I saved them in my text file. I'm going to close that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to use our Python script to call this text file. So here is the stuff that Zed wants us to type in. I'm going to go to Text Wrangler and I'll show that to you line by line. Okay, the first thing is we're going to be doing, um, we need to import the module argv. We need to bring in a little bit of extra code from the system. This will work. Uh, make it so we can do some of these extra things, makes life easier. And argv, remember, we use that for argument variable. It means that we're going to be taking a couple of pieces of information and squishing them into this one piece of information. So in the command line, when we type Python, we also type the name of the script, which will be ex15.py in this case. And then we also type the file name, and that's going to be the name of the text file, which for me is ex15 underscore sample dot txt. And those will get passed from the command line into the program, and you'll be able to work with them. So one thing we're going to do is we're going to create a variable called txt. So you can call it whatever you want, but right now we're just calling it txt. There's the assignment operator, the equals, and so that means put into this variable. And then there's the file name that it's going to pull from argv, which it got from what we typed on the command line. And it's going to tell it to open that file, which is why it's important for you to add the extension, the .txt, to it so it knows that it's a text file. Let's see here. Opens the command. You run the name there. And um, you can look at pydoc open if you want to. All right, the next thing is the script is going to have, uh, is going to print the contents of that file to the console, so the terminal on Mac or PowerShell on a Windows PC. So it'll say the words, here's your file, and then this dot, excuse me, the parenthesis, oh, geez, percent sign R, it says the file name. Now, um, so it's going to print that file name. Remember, and it includes the extension, so it's going to know what to do with it. And so it's going to read the text file. Now, the other thing, we're doing a little operator here. This dot here is actually an operator. It says to take this piece of information, remember, and that's from here. We created a variable where we opened up, we got the file, and we opened it, and we put it into text. So right here, we're going to take text, and what we're going to print is we're going to, this, it says take an object. We have an object here called text, TXT. Object actually means something special in programming because you have what's called object-oriented programming. So we have an object, and then this is an this says do this operation on the object. That's what the dot means. They call it a dot operator. And then read it. So read is the function that we're going to use. Now, what's funny about this one also is you see we got this uh, parentheses with nothing in it. That's because the function read well, every function needs a place for arguments to 
put in additional information. And if you don't have any additional information that you need to add, and we don't in this case, uh, you don't need to put anything, but you still have to have the parentheses. So you'll see a lot of times you'll have the open close parenthesis, um, even though there's not anything there. But that's because functions have to have arguments. All right. And then uh, we're going to do the whole, and oh, by the way, this is going to print the uh, text of our file, which again is just these three lines. It's going to print it, it's going to show it, display it in the terminal. And then we're going to do the whole thing again from within the script. It's going to say, type the file name within the script. It's going to take that information we type, take it as raw input, and put it into a, a, a variable or an object called file again. And then it's going to open up file. It's going to take that uh, word that we typed in, and it's going to open it and put it into text again. And then print it the same way we did up here. It'll print it to the console. Um, when we're done, by the way, something Zed does not mention, let me show you in his sample code right here, but he does mention down here at the bottom. Let's see here. I should be able to see this. There we go. He says you should close your files when you're done so you don't have digital you know, uh, stuff just kind of hanging around. And so the way we do that is we use the dot operator. You just do txt, that's the name of the object we created up here, and then use dot, which means we're going to do something to that object, and we're going to close it. And we do the same thing for text again, because that's another object, the dot operator, and there's the function we're going to use. Anyhow, so let's come over here and execute the whole thing. I'm in the prompt. I'm focused on my scripts folder, because I, I changed directories to it a while ago. I'm going to type in the lowercase the word Python, I'm going to type ex15.py because that's the name of the script file. And that's also the first argument that's going to get passed with argv, the argument variable. The other one that I need is the file name. And that means this one down here that has the text that I'm dealing with. I'm just going to copy that and come up here, put a little space in, and paste it. So what I've typed in is three things. Python, to say we're going to run as a Python script ex15.py, that's the name of the script, and then ex15 underscore sample dot text, that's the name of my text file with the three lines of text. I hit return, and here we go. This is the stuff I typed into a file, it's really cool stuff, and you can see that that is in fact what's in this file. And then it says type the file name again. So I'm, I've actually uh, copied it, so I'm just going to put it right there, and You'll see it does it all again, except this time it did it by prompting me within the script, as opposed to this one, it prompted me before I wrote the script. And uh, although you can't see it, we have also closed the two files here at the end, and we are done with this one. Thanks for watching.